Dr. Sharita Golding, Vice President and Chief Diversity Officer for Johns Hopkins Medicine. We created this educational series for you on the COVID-19 vaccine because we want you, our employees, to be able to make the most informed decisions for yourselves. We have gathered experts across our organization to contribute to this video series, and we welcome you to watch either the entire series or just those components that are most relevant to you. Thank you. After the vaccines distributed, um, the government has several different mechanisms to monitor vaccine safety. As I mentioned, that they this is not a licensure; these are emergency use authorizations. So the studies will continue to monitor um, for long-term efficacy. There are several CDC and FDA monitoring systems that are currently in place, such as the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System and the Vaccine Safety Data Link, which monitor vaccine safety and adverse event reporting from all over the country. Um, the Clinical Immunization Safety Assessment Project is a group of seven sites throughout the US um, where we monitor um, any adverse events to vaccines and provide consultation to clinicians um, who might have questions about vaccine safety. Um, this project has been stepped up and, and, um, and and for the for the COVID pandemic, so that anybody who calls um, the CDC info line um, for questions about COVID vaccines, it will be triaged to um, CISA, and can they can get expert opinions and expert advice on on issues of vaccine safety, and also for healthcare workers. The CDC is launching a new um, smartphone app called VSafe, which will monitor adverse events after vaccination for the COVID-19 um, vaccines. And so um, there's many mechanisms to make sure that the vaccines that are licensed um, are remain safe and that there aren't any unexpected adverse events that arise. Um, these vaccines are incredibly effective and can be a primary tool for equity by vaccinating those who are most at risk for developing severe COVID disease and from dying from this infection. And I'm gonna stop there.